Hi guys, when you log into your Nearpod today from Science and Social Studies, I want to walk you through that process. When you click on the link, it will ask you to uh, grab your name from either Google, um, Google or Office 365. You're going to choose Google and I'm going to log in as my fake student today. So I can kind of walk you through how this particular Nearpod works. Confirm that it's you and your Nearpod begins. You're gonna be looking at the animal groups today, the five animal groups that we learned about yesterday in science, plus an extra. And that extra in this Nearpod is arthropods. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what it is. It's an invertebrate, invertebrate. It doesn't have a backbone. Those animals don't have backbones. And that's not our focus right now. I want you to focus really on those five that we talked about yesterday, the vertebrate families, um, and just explore the invertebrates because we'll talk about those later. The way that this Nearpod is organized is you have some slides that tell you the lesson objectives and about the animal kingdoms. Um, in this case, the six groups of kingdoms and how they're different and similar. And you've got vertebrates and invertebrates. I want you to read through this slide. I'm going to go ahead and go a little further. You're going to have a poll that you'll answer. And I'm going to go ahead and answer it and move forward because I want to get into these sections. When you start exploring the specific animal kingdoms, particularly here we have mammals, then you'll read through this slide and look at the examples. But then the next slide has what's called a Microsoft Sway. This is um, a streamlined, if you would, I guess that's a good word for it, a streamlined kind of PowerPoint where instead of clicking the slides like you're doing now, you can scroll up and down to to learn about mammals. So you're going to scroll down and you'll look at the descriptors of mammals first and it gives you two descriptors of mammals and then anatomy, what parts of that do they have on their bodies different than other animals? Where do they fit in in the animal kingdom? And it tells you some information about that. Nice big long words that you can practice. And then um, their natural habitat where you're going to find them, their diet, um, and also, did you know, and down underneath the, did you know, it gives you some really cool, um, cards that you can click through to give you information about mammals at the bottom. It has a class activity that says think pair share. You feel free to grab a sibling or a grown up to do this with if they're available. If they're not available, then it's absolutely fine for you to do this on your own. And um, you, you don't have to, you don't have to think pair shares, what I'm telling you, that's optional. When you get down to the bottom of the sway, then you click on your next button and it takes you to the next animal kingdom. So you just read about mammals and now you're going to learn about birds. You're going to do the same thing throughout every animal kingdom that you have in your Nearpod. And at the end, there's going to be a, a couple of question quiz. And when you get finished, you're all done for science for today. I look forward to seeing you at one o'clock in bulletin board.